So welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and welcome back to another video. This is actually part two of Treasure Island. So in the last video, we did all of this jazz. Um, we did the sailboat coding, and we also did the backdrop, because the backdrop has barely any code. And we also drew the backdrop and all that stuff. So we also, um, so, if you haven't watched part one yet, please watch part one before you watch part two because um, you probably don't know what's going on right now. So I'm gonna drag around here if you have it, if you missed any code. So this is just it. This is all the code for the sailboat. So <clears throat> today, first I will code the pirate ship. So you you can change your pirate ship to 25 or whatever you want because some downloaded pirate ships are bigger than the other or they're too small, so you can change whatever size you want. Uh, so this one was a little bit big, so I changed it to 25. So when the green flag is clicked, I always have to use zoom in. It'll go to, it'll point in direction negative 90. I already put on the do not rotate, left, right. Um, and point in direction negative 90. So, and then it'll go to this position. You can make it go anywhere. Let's go around here. Start like around here. So then it won't be that bad. So go to here. And then it'll oh, forever. It'll oh, forever. Um, move 1.5 steps. So that's a one and a half steps. Five steps. And then if then... Touching, touching. Uh, wait, this touching's in here. Touching this col, any th th this collar right here, because it basically there's an island right here. So if it's touching here, this island right here, because there's an island right here. So and it's green. It'll point in direction ninety and go backwards. And then if it's on the edge, it will bounce. So, yeah. So, so my pirate ship was started out to, um, pointing on the right side. I wanted it to be on the left side because it's walking left. So I put it on negative 90. So let's try it out. As you can see, the pirate ship is moving but not shooting a cannonball yet. So, um, as you can see, there, you have to put an island right here, so then it'll go backwards once it touches it. So let's get that. Okay, so that's basically. Um, and you also have to put the if you, if they get the treasures, I'll stop other scripts in this sprite. So next sprite we're gonna work on is the ball, the cannon ball. Um. We have to always start off with the if flag clicked. It always zooms out. I don't know, there. I'll set the size to, let's say about 70% or 75 or something like that. Let's use 70. Um, I'll hide in the beginning. You need a forever loop. It'll wait one second. And it'll create a clone of itself. So, you'll make like duplicates of itself. And then when I receive got treasures, when I receive got treasures, stop other trips in this sprite. So, this is for the clone. It's a really big chunk of code. Let's move it down. So, oh, go to the pirate ship because the pirate ship shoots out the um, cannonball. Oh, point in direction. Point in direction. Um, I think it's actually point. So it's actually this one. So it's point in direction, not 90. We have to go to sensing and get something pretty special. 
It's called backdrop of stage. You know, as, as you can see, if you change the first one, um, it doesn't it doesn't show you X position or anything like that. So you gotta change it to pirate ship. So then you can change the X position or all the stuff. But we're actually using direction, so we can put that inside there. Um, let's make it move 40 steps. The cannonball moves us 40 steps. And then it'll set the Y to negative 150. So the, um, the move 40 steps is to put it on the tip of the pirate ship. If yours is a bigger or smaller, um, then you have to make it different. So if you you can set the Y to negative 150, it's to adjust the cannonball around the ship to make it um, shoot from the front because it's because you have to adjust it. If it doesn't match later, that means I have to make it around there. And then you need to repeat until. A or a or statement and another or statement. It's touching the color. This color. The the cannonball will keep on going until it's touching this color. Touching. Touching. Edge. Or touching the sailboat. Oops, sailboat. And I'll move ten steps. And I'll delete the clone after afterwards. So the ball is. I I think it's way too big. So let's test it out. As you can see, the ball is way too big. So um. I'm gonna decide to change it to 30% to make it more smaller. As, as you can see, that's about the right size. Um, let's make the Y negative 130 instead. Let's save the project. As you see, it's like going from the top of the uh, pirate ship. Let's test the game one more time. So as you can see, the sailboat is following the mouse pointer, and if it bumps into the green, it gets wrecked. Or if it touches the pirate ship, it gets wrecked too. You can also gather the treasures, and, and it stops everything. So let's see if the cannonball works. As you can see, it says the ship has been wrecked. That's basically it for the game. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and comment in the comment section below to see what content you want to see next. Thank you, everybody.